Oh, this is a, I'll call it a DB25, I don't know how you pronounce the other word, it's like radio, d -d -d -t, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, it's um, sort of a clone of, uh, well, the internals are anyway, of a, a QTY8900D, I believe. Um, Death as a doorpost, uh, really is bad, it's, I think it's to do with the digital squelch on it. I'm just going to show you how deaf this thing is. Um, at the moment, that's the FTM 400. You can hear it coming from its speaker. Um, now, if I've, I've got an antenna switch here, so I can switch between the two radios, same antenna. Hey, presto. Absolutely nothing. Turn them on. And look, listen to the noise on that. Turn it down a bit. That is just noise. So that's on squelch setting one. When I do that, and for some reason it's coming through now. If I switch now back to yep. So I don't know if you can hear that. No problem at all. I've got a bit of QRM around here. Um, and I'll go back to, I'll switch it over now, so switch it back, nothing, absolutely gazunk. Uh, that's on monitor now, so something there but the clarity of it is I mean, obviously the speaker's a lot smaller, uh, but squelch level back one. See, something coming through now. But if I switch now back to this radio, yeah, now I'll switch back. Nothing. Absolutely nothing again. If I press the minor button again. Press it again. So that's squelch level back setting one now. It's working now. <laughs> I mean, you know, come on. I mean, there's something wrong with the software on this, definitely. And if you listen to it, I mean, so much noise in the background. I don't know what's going on. I'll switch back to the FTM 400. Nice and clear. I've got that chuff 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 noise, but it seems to be local interference to me. Um, switch it back once more. As I say, nothing. Press the money button so it turns the squelch off. Get the signal. Switch it again. The signal stays there. I mean, you know, something wrong there. Anyway, that about sums up this radio for me. So, um, too much hassle, too much messing around. Uh, I think I'll just stick with the FTM 400. It seems to work quite well. Let's do some uh, power settings. Um, we'll have a quick look, see what we've got. Um, right, let me move the mic in the way. 13.8 volts, we'll draw in 220 milliamps uh, quiescent current in, as it stands. Um, it, now I do believe this does actually draw current when you turn it off, Just turn it off. Mm, say good boy. And we're drawing about 17 or 18 milliamps. Um, so, yeah, be aware of that if you're running it on a car battery or anything. Um, let's put him back on again. Right then, let's have a quick look at some power outputs. Right, uh, we've got it set to, we'll check, go to the menu, TX is high. Leave that as low. We're on 145 500, the calling channel. Um, let's give the quick mic a quick press. So let's have a look at the output. So showing uh, 25.58 and we're 26 hertz off frequency. Um, so that's okay. That's not too bad. Let's try 70 sems. So back to the radio. On here we. We just press this button, we'll get it down to 
the uh, so now we're on 70 sims and we'll check the power setting and we're still on high so that's fine so we'll do a quick test on that now so we'll look and it's 20 point watt 20 point just over 20 watts and again we're 74 hertz off um, and the current at that is 3.7 amps at 13.8 volts I'll do the current for two meters again I forgot to do that so bear with me so let's go back to two meters and let's give that one a little text again and we're at 25 watts again and we're at 3.5 amps okay let's drop him down uh, so we're going to the uh, menu menu drop to low accept that exit okay and we'll do it at two meters again so we'll do a quick transmission test uh, we're at uh, 12.3 watts um, and the current is 2.35 amps okay so we'll now go to 70 sems okay we're on 70 sems on the calling channel um, let's do a quick test on that and we're showing oh sorry we're still on high power menu sorry menu low accept exit okay let's try that again sorry about that let's try again uh, we're showing 8.8 .8 watts um, and a current of 2.24 amps uh, well I hope that's helpful if you can run this on your car or off your motorbike which I originally bought to run it off my motorbike but I'm finding it particularly deaf um, and that's plugged into an X510 which really <laughs> you, you know for um, 2 and 70 is probably about one of the better areas you can get for it so um, I've got an FTM 400 and a switch which I can switch between the two radios and unless the signals 5 or 9 this thing don't receive anything regardless where you set the squelch if you turn it to monitor uh, it's just noise you can't hear any audio so there's either something wrong with it or it's just badly designed and you have to accept the fact unless it's a 5 and 9 signal you ain't going to hear them um, I've tried it uh, narrowband and wideband uh, don't make any difference um, but anyway that's my general overview of this radio um, I'll just pair him off so you can have a look at it saying goodbye um, turn that power off off so we don't have blowing anything up um, it's a nice small little compact radio um, as I say I bought it so I could stick it in my top box on my motorbike and just take it up to the local uh, high point um, give me the option of 10 watts or 25 um, I don't think I'll bother <laughs> I've got a, an 8 watt bow fang that's a little bit more sensitive than this but I'll try it but uh sat here i would have thought it worked a lot better than he does i mean you get what you pay for don't you simple as you know you pay 60 quid for something you get 60 pounds worth of crap um i think in general you probably should stick with um icom or um yatsi or kenwood um and you know you know it, it does what it says on the tin um this really is um I wouldn't recommend anybody buy one. Not, well, it might just be mine, but when I did a, a quick review, um, lots of people saying they're deaf. I mean, it doesn't seem to matter what you do with the squelch, it makes no difference whatsoever. Um, as you say, if you turn the squelch off, um, you just get um, noise. Uh, the software that comes with it doesn't work. Um, um, it doesn't doesn't even load on my computer just says there's an error with it and that's on windows 10 i've tried a windows 7 it said the same um the data lead via chirp worked uh, i was able to read and write to the radio but again it's limited um so i don't know um 
it is what it is. Um, make your choice, pay your mono. Um, my recommendation, avoid like the plague. Um, doing a basic cyanide test on it, on the, um, I've got me, uh, uh, you have to forgive the flowing lines, but, um, 12 dB cyanide is roughly at 167 millivolts or 100, minus 122.5 dBm um, for both um, 70 sems and um, 2 meters. Uh, there's some strange things going at the moment. I've currently got in the menu uh, it's set to one. Now, when you actually um, start messing the menus it's almost like it turns the, the uh, squelch control off um, if I just go up uh, what are we doing got the text parallel uh, so as you can see volume comes up and down with it so when you're messing with it it's actually turning the um, the Equivalent of pressing the mon money button to so see bypass the squelch, but I don't know, it's cheap. <laughs> Ugh, you know. I don't know if that's on or off now. Um, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, it's. Oh. You get what you pay for, that's all I can say, really. Um, the. Um, the menu is the same as the QTY 8900D. Um, they've just got buttons on this side. PCB looks the same inside. Um, but it's just deaf. If I um, do a comparison with a switched radio, you know, a switch in between of the FTM 400, that's hearing everything. This only hears anything. There's only five and nine, and that's it, regardless of where the squelch is. And if you turn the squelch off using the monitor button, it's just noise, total noise. So definitely something not right. Um, I'll do some power tests anyway, but but that's 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 basically a sign ad test really. Um, uh, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm getting 167 millivolt microvolts there. So doing a standard sign ad test where I've got the AF level set to one volt, just as a common which I'll, I'll do for everything um, and then just adjust the level until we get um, sort of that slightly scratchy bit in between uh, 167 microvolts seems okay to me well not brilliant but um, but I think it must be to do with the digital squelch on it oh, there's something not right about it um, needs somebody to do, to do something for it I'm not sure what write a new program or whatever